nutritionist and maintainable weight loss coach, Trisha Mann is here with another awesome episode of Take Control Tuesdays, where you learn how to take control of your diet, your weight, and your health all at the same time. Today I want to talk to you about you knowing if now is the time for you to invest in losing weight and improving your health or not regardless of what program you may be thinking about. So here are the steps I suggest you take to help you figure that out. Step number one, what, what I want you to do is write down all of the reasons why investing in your health is important to you. What results do you want to achieve and why do you want to achieve them? This is a really serious thing to do. Don't just think about it. Take some time. If you're not watching this video live, pause the video and do this right now. Write down the results that you want to achieve and why you want to achieve them. Why are they important to you? You have to have a really good foundational understanding of what it is you actually want before you know if it's worth investing in to try and get that. Once you have your list down, Ask yourself very honestly, without judging, how important are these results to you right now? Is losing 75 pounds or 60 pounds over the next year the number one most important thing in your life right now? Or does it not really bother you that much, but like you kind of think about it sometimes? If this is the most important thing in your life to you right now, that's definitely a sign that it may be worth investing in you getting some help, okay? If you think about your weight and your health every night before you go to bed, if it keeps you from sleeping at night, that's a sign that it's really important to you. If this is something that you chronically think about all throughout the day, then it's a sign that this is something that's really important to you and worth investing in. If you don't really think about it at all, unless like maybe someone brings it up to you like once a month, that doesn't sound like it is that important to you. But if on the inside here and in your gut, it drives you nuts every day, you can't stand it, you're you're at risk of really losing what you love in your life, then it may be a really good time for you to consider getting some help, regardless of what that help is. All right, step number three is once you've identified the results you want and how important they are to you, considering how important they are to you, you want to figure out what your budget is for investing in your health. Write down everything you're spending money on. Now, if losing 75 pounds over the next year is what you really want to achieve, so you can start to go to amusement parks with your grandkids and be able to walk a mile without being out of breath and get up off the couch type thing, you may need some more intensive one-on-one -on -one type help versus um, an online program where you never actually get to talk to an actual human. So just know that those things generally require more financial means to invest in than something like Weight Watchers. So what I want you to do when you check out your budget is I want you to write down everything you're spending money on and where all your financial assets are. So not just the money that you have in your checking account, but retirement, credit cards, everywhere you have access to financial means, you wanna be super aware of that. Now, if this is something that is the most important thing to you in your life right now and you do want to invest in some serious help and finances may kind of be a little tight, know that in order for you to achieve your dream, you might have to sacrifice financially in one other area. And if this is the most important thing to you in your life, then that might be okay because that's what you might need to do in order to actually enjoy the other things you're spending your money on. So if you were just about to buy a brand new car, maybe you could get a used car or an older car. So you could do what it is you wanna do. Now, if you are struggling to keep the water on, the lights on, pay the mortgage on your house, food, clothing, and shelter are essential first. So if you are struggling to pay your own bills right now, then you do not, most, 
most likely you do not want to take money or put money out on a credit card to invest in your health, but everybody's different. So it just matters about how important this really, really is to you. So once you've identified where you're spending your money and what you're willing to potentially compromise on to help you reach this really important thing for you, if it is the number one thing for you, then that's going to help you with the next step, which is, have you found an actual program coach and or person who you know is going to ensure that you reach your goal? So when you have found the perfect program or person to help you, you could say that it is incredibly responsible of you to go and invest in that if this is something that you dream of and need to achieve in order to save your life. What I want to caution you about, though, is if you want to create a sustainable lifestyle change where you're losing one to three pounds a week, but you can actually keep it up for a really long time for years to come, just make sure you're not doing something that's going to keep you stuck in what I call the diet trap, right? If all you're buying is a pill to help you lose weight, you can almost be assured that in two, three years from now, tops, that you're going to most likely gain the weight back and more. So if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do, but just be conscious of what you're saying yes to. Most people that I meet don't succeed at Weight Watchers long term. So if Weight Watchers hasn't worked for you the two other times in the past, it's probably not the right thing for you to try again. If you've tried fad diets from reading books in the past and you're in the past and you're still stuck, it's probably not worth your time to try and do that again if this is the most important thing to you in your life. You need to do something different, but you need to do something that you know is going to help you or you feel 95% certain that this is going to help you because you've talked personally to someone and you know that it's evidence-based and you know you're going to get one on one help, but when you do find the thing that you believe is really going to help you, and if this is the most important thing in your life, and you can come up with a financial means to do it, some might say that it is your responsibility to fulfill that dream. So one thing that I know can hold some people back from actually taking action is they're so scared that they might fail because they failed so many times in the past. And I lately have been reading this book called The Alchemist. It's a really good book. Um, there's a lot of life lessons that are taught in this book, especially in regards to pursuing your dreams or something that you know that you're really meant to do. And one of the things in this book that made me think of you if you are concerned about failing and that you're so scared to try because you might fail again, this is what I want you to take away from this book, The Alchemist. Tell your heart that the fear of suffering is worse than the suffering itself, and that no heart has ever suffered when it goes in search of its dreams. Ah, so good, so powerful, and so true. You are more likely to be in pain thinking about failing and being so scared you're gonna fail than what it feels like to actually have tried and failed. But the other thing about trying is that, especially if you have the right program in place that you feel confident about, is you're most likely not going to fail. That's what you're paying for. You're, pay you're paying to not fail if you're investing in the right type of program. And I say you really only fail when you stop trying. As long as you're trying, you get points, you deserve credit, and you should feel good for that at the same time. So now I wanna hear from you. I wanna know, is your health, losing weight, improving your health on the top of your priority list or closer to the bottom? How important is this to you right now and why? Answer in the comments below because I would love to hear your thoughts and I will happily respond. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Get educated, get support, and take control because you can get the healthy body you deserve.